Hello and welcome to the Daily Mill for Sunday, the 16th of June, 2024. And today we're, I'm just going to show you a few of the um, tributes to uh, Matija Sarkic. There, there are literally thousands and, and thousands and thousands and um be impossible for me to share them all but i'm gonna share like three or four uh of the main ones um this is from dailymail.co.uk uh, you may have seen this earlier if you're watching uh the game against denmark between slovenia and denmark uh, slovenia wore black armbands for their clash with denmark in touch in tribute to Mill star matija sargic after the goalkeeper's death at age 26. Um, yeah. Uh, Slovenia players wore black armbands after their, uh, during their Euro 2024 opener to pay tribute to the late mule goalkeeper Mizir Zagic. Sarkic passed away at age 26 on Saturday, just days after a man in the match performance in Montenegro's defeat to um, Belgium. Uh, for their Group C clash with uh, Denmark at the MHP Arena, Matt Jazz Keck's team donned the commemorative armbands emblazoned with a black foil at Fleur de Lee. Um, and then uh, the game was drawn. Uh, following the game, a social media post from the Montenegro FA's official account expressed gratitude to their fellow former Yugoslav country for the gesture. And here it is. Uh, uh, in the first match of the European Championship, the Slovenian national team wore a black flag in memory of our goalkeeper, Matija Sarkic. With this move, Jan Oblak and his friends showed compassion for everyone in our country and paid respect to our Matija on the biggest stage. Uh, Slovenians, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So there you go. And uh, this was put up on uh, Mill's Twitter. Mills X this morning, some flowers being left at the gates of uh, the den on John Berylson Way. And he's quite close up, but there's a, I believe that this is from uh, Mill Italian Fans Facebook page. Uh, I think this was taken pretty early on the Saturday, maybe Saturday lunchtime, judging by the clouds. Um, there's a Montenegrin scarf and flag there. And uh, lots of bouquets, but like I said, this was looks to be Saturday lunchtime, so I'm sure there's, there's going to be a few more there by now, and a few more uh, being put up there on uh, on uh, tomorrow on Monday, and the days going forward. Um, so there you go, and uh, this story here from. Um, a referee, quite a, f a funny story. Uh, this is from the sun.co.uk, but it was the uh, referee Bobby Madley who put it on his own Twitter page. Um, Premier League ref tells funny story of how Matija Sarkic did him like a kipper in tribute to tragic Millways uh, 26. Uh, Premier League referee Bobby Madley has shared a heartwarming uh, tribute for the late mill goalkeeper Matija Sarkic. The Championship Club announced tragic news yesterday morning that the 26-year-old had died after falling ill in the coastal town of Budva, Montenegro. And that's him there. I think he has uh, refereed a few of our games over the years. Um, Sarkic had been on international duty in Montenegro and put in a man in the match performance in his last display with nine saves in a 2-0 defeat to Belgium. Montenegrin state-owned TV uh, station RTCG report that Sarkic went for a walk with powers, had dinner in a restaurant and returned to his palm apartment early on Friday evening. He is believed to have told friends he felt ill after waking up at around 6am morning. They called an ambulance but it was too late. Um, tributes poured in uh, from across the, the football world following the terrible news. Now, one tribute came from referee Madley, who shared an interaction the pair held as he prepared to take charge of the Montenegro under-19s game in 2016. Talking to social media, Madley said, I met Matija in 2016 when refereeing my first under-19s uh, Euro qualifying game between Montenegro and France. And Matija was the captain, which as a goalkeeper isn't always the easiest for a referee. 
to stand in in the tunnel before the game. Matija came down and shook hands. Given that my grasp of the Montenegrin language wasn't the best, in a shocking broken English accent, I tried to to explain to Matija, with many hand gestures and ridiculous facial expressions, that as a captain and goalkeeper, it would be hard to work with him. My question of, is there a player in team, speak English, maybe uh, can speak with me if problem today, was met with a blank look from Matija. I tried again uh, with even worse broken English and the stone look remained on his face. I was defeated. I looked at Matija and said clearly, oh, I'm wasting my time and I'm getting nowhere. Matija half smiled before replying in a strong Balkan accent. Nine. Nine speak English him. Delighted and very proud of myself, I replied, Ah, you understand English little. This is good. He speak good English? M Matija smiled and replied, yeah, it's not bad. He's my brother Oliver. We're from Grimsby. I just wanted to see how long you'd carry that nonsense on. He'd done me like a kipper. Madly added, uh, sincerest condolences to his family and his friends. Rest in peace, Matija. Uh, he has whistled over 90 top uh, flight matches in his career. No. Uh, Grimsby-born Sarkic was the son of Montenegro ambassador Bojan Sarkic. Sarkic had only moved to the Den last season where he helped the club to a mid-table finish and penned a long-term contract. And uh, on that note, thank you for watching and, and goodbye.